Hi there, this is Jessica with Hometown Hybrids. If you're watching this video, you probably have a hybrid vehicle that has warning lights on the dash and won't go into gear. If you've gotten the diagnostic codes checked already and you've come up with trouble code P0AA6, you're probably a little frustrated and confused and I don't blame you. This code is a bit challenging to diagnose, but we're gonna jump right in and help you get back on the road. P0AA6 by itself means that there's a high voltage leak or short circuit somewhere in the car. To help narrow down the location of this leak, you're going to want to obtain the detail codes. One of the reasons why this whole situation is so tricky is because most of the basic handheld code readers like from AutoZone or O'Reilly's won't pick up the detail codes. You're going to want to get your car to a shop that has a sophisticated diagnostic code reader. Ideally, the code reader will log two detail codes. The first code is 526 and it will always be constant. The second code is going to be the most important and it will direct you to the problem area. 612 is the most common detail code we come across. This code indicates the high voltage leak is in the hybrid battery. Usually this means one of the individual battery modules has a fissure and electrolyte has seeped out, making contact with the metal case. This creates a path for electricity to flow, which triggers the fall code. Detail code 612 can also point to a problem with the hybrid battery ECU or the relays within the battery. However, this is exceptionally rare and we have never seen it in our shop, but I just wanna put it out there. If you have detail code 612, your hybrid battery will likely need to be replaced or repaired. Detail code 614 is the second most common detail code we see. This indicates the high voltage leak is likely within the DC inverter converter unit. In rare cases, this detail code can be caused by the main high voltage frame wire that connects the battery to the inverter. However, unless the vehicle has been in a serious accident, it's very rare for these cables to develop any problems. If you have detail code 614, your inverter will likely need to be replaced. Detail code 613 says that the voltage leak is within the transaxle. If you're one of the few unfortunate souls who has this code, you should seek out a hybrid friendly mechanic in your area who can determine if your transaxle needs to be replaced. And finally, we have detail code 611, which is specific to the AC compressor. If you have to replace this unit, make sure your certified mechanic knows that a hybrid specific compressor oil is required. The wrong type of oil can damage the AC system in your vehicle. If you have any questions about this or any other codes, feel free to shoot me an email to sales at hometownhybrids.com. Thank you.